y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to be a part of ken's crew because we're the best crew and if you're new i am a junior economics major at spelman college the best and the number one hbcu in the country so as you can tell from the title i'll be doing a video about nso aka new student orientation expectations versus reality i know going into college you're gonna be expecting a lot but i'm gonna tell y'all the reality of it all especially what goes on during new student orientation week aka freshman orientation whatever you guys call it at your college but yes congrats to all my freshmen and new students that are about to embark on their college journey definitely if you haven't already i'll link my college advice playlist and my college vlog playlist for my freshman and sophomore years of college i'll link them both down below and i'll also link them in the i cards as well so definitely check those out and binge watch them it'll really help you know with the college experience and so you won't be as nervous and you'll feel like you pretty much know everything before you get there that's always great so yeah also this is a collab with the hbcu college youtubers um i'll link the playlist down below so definitely check that out after you finish this video but yeah without further ado let's just get right into it all right so before i start these expectations versus reality comment down below when your move-in day or freshman orientation day is i know spellman ours is like the same day like the first day of orientation is moving day so comment below which one comes first down below in the comments and let's get started so expectation number one some people might want to hurry up finish unpacking and set up their room rush to like finish everything and get their parents out the way make new friends all that stuff that's the expectation but in reality you really want to soak up the last few moments you have with your family and friends or whoever came with you to move you in don't rush your family away because they're really trying to just soak up those last few moments with you they want to make sure you're good all that kind of stuff so definitely don't try to rush it you literally will be with these people for the whole year you don't have to rush just take your time on move-in day because Pretty much everybody is going to be moving in too. So definitely just try to slow it down. Don't be um, too excited to leave your family because, you know, you'll be there all year. So just, just soak it up. Trust me, you'll want to just soak up that last few moments. Expectation number two. You're going to think you're going to attend all the events. You're going to be super organized and energized and hyped and ready and all that kind of stuff, which you may be. But in reality, you're probably going to be worn out. You're going to be tired. I know for Spellman's NSO, we had a lot of early sessions. You're not going to get pretty much a good amount of sleep because you're going to stay up talking to your roommate or talking to some friends you met or whatever the case may be, trying to get to know people or get to know the campus. So you're not going to be as energized as you think. I mean, you may get some coffee or whatever and be, you know, hyped for a few hours. But I'm saying all this to say, go to them anyways. Be tired for that week or however long y'all's orientation is because it's going to be a memory you'll never forget. You'll want to look back and be like, wow, like I stayed up till like two in the morning, like walking around campus with my friends or like all that kind of stuff. Like you're going to love it. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of bonding happening. Um, I'm speaking, you know, as my experience for the most part on these because I went to Spillman and our NSO is like a tradition type thing. Like it's an experience. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be amazing. Just definitely just go to all the events. You may not be super hyped or energized or, you know, well rested, but it'll be worth it in the end. So number three, I get this question a lot, like how, how do I make friends, all that kind of stuff. You might expect that you're not going to make friends, you're not going to meet new people, you're, you're too shy or something like that. But in reality, NSO is literally designed for you to make friends and you to network and connect with your classmates. I always say if you come in with a negative mindset, you're going to have negative results. So just come in with an open mind and really just try to be friendly like try to step out of your comfort zone college in general will make you step out of your comfort zone so this is just the start just open up 
you know, speak to somebody down your hall, um, your neighbors, um, people in your set, like different events that you sit next to, make friends with them. Just open up, be yourself, don't try to be anybody else. Um, I know college, everybody wants to create a new image for themselves, but don't overall just change who you are just to make friends or just to fit in with some group. If you feel like you're not being yourself or you feel like, oh, these aren't the people I feel like I want to be around, you know, all that kind of stuff, you don't have to. It's your choice. So definitely just be open to making new friends because it's bound to happen. Literally, if you stay in your room, don't talk to anybody, that's probably the only way you will not meet anybody. And even that, your roommate might bring friends in her room and you meet friends that way. And that's how I met some other people. And through them, you meet other people and hang out with other people. Just, just mingle and network with everybody, okay? Because you don't want to limit yourself to one group either because then what if it don't work out then you don't have no friends so yeah just be open have a positive mindset you will make friends like if you don't make friends you'll make friends before the end of the semester i just know that period you'll everybody will find somebody and it may not be the first day it may not be moving day and you may not be besties with your roommate but It'll happen for you, I promise you. Don't worry about that. That's literally the least of your worries. Making friends is literally the least of your worries. So expectation number four, you're probably gonna go in thinking it's all fun and games and you have no like serious stuff to do. Well, at Spelman specifically, you're gonna have to take placement tests, you're gonna have to meet with your advisors, you're gonna have to learn history about the school, you're gonna have to go to a lot of sessions and events, early mornings, all that stuff. It's not all fun and games, but it'll totally be worth it. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be memories that you will never forget. You'll never be able to be on campus with only your class. So take advantage of it. Use this time to mingle with everybody because you know everybody is a freshman or a new student. So definitely, like I said, have a positive outlook and I'm sure the whole experience will be amazing. Expectation number five. Probably think you're gonna be, you know, going in, wearing your best fit all of the days of orientation. You can pop out the heels maybe, I don't know. But in reality, you probably won't because I know moving day, I wouldn't suggest wearing your best fit because you're gonna be sweaty, you're gonna be moving stuff. You wanna be comfortable, cute, you know, appropriate or whatever. I know for some of the sessions at Spelman, we met with alum a few days out of the orientation. So definitely be appropriate in what you wear. Of course, if you're going to an outside party you don't want to wear like a blazer or nothing but if you're meeting with the lum you don't want to wear your shortest short and your croppest crop top is that a word <laughs> but yeah you don't want to wear like barely any clothes and you know you're meeting alum or administrators or meeting with your advisor you know just just remember first impressions are a lasting impression now you take that with a grain of salt i'm not telling you what to wear like i said i can't tell you what to wear but i'm just saying be mindful because what you wear does have, you know, it does make an impression on people, whether you like it or not, whether you think it's right or not, people form impressions based off of how you look before you speak. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, definitely wear something comfortable throughout orientation because you'll be running around back and forth to your room and different sessions. So just try to be comfortable and cute at the same time. Expectation number six. Some freshmen may have been a little sheltered or whatever the case may be from high school or early on. So some freshmen may come in thinking, you know, everything's gonna be handed to them or things will just, you know, work themselves out. But in reality, you gotta make things happen for yourself. You won't be spooked fed anymore. So you, if you need to talk to your advisor, if you need to go talk to the financial aid office, if you need to meet with somebody, you need to make it happen because if you don't do it, nobody else is there to do it for you. It's gonna be a wake up call, like, no, your parents aren't gonna be able to do anything for you. You're not gonna be able to be spoon fed. Your advisors aren't gonna email you multiple times to come meet with them. You're gonna have to just do it on your own. Like, take your placement test, meet with your advisor, talk to financial aid, all of that. Take care of it. I know a lot of people are procrastinators, including myself, but some things you just gotta get it done. That's adulting okay you just gotta do it you're growing up 
gotta become an adult sometimes. So this is like stepping your foot in the water, like, you know, okay, gotta take care of this, that, and the third. So yeah, if you don't do it, no one else is gonna do it for you. Expectation number seven. You may think that from previous tours or campus tours or anything like that, you may know where everything pretty much is on campus and where your classes are, but in reality, you probably don't. I know my freshman year, I thought I knew, you know, pretty much where everything was. I looked on my um, YouTube and saw a campus tour, so I already think I knew where everything was. But in reality, when I went to map out where my classes were, I didn't know where like half of my classes were and I thought I did so definitely once you make your schedule I would physically go to each of the classes so you know exactly where they are so you're not like scrambling and it'll alleviate some of the anxiety and nervousness you may have on the first day because I know not knowing where your classes are is a huge part of like being nervous about the first day so definitely just go to it you can even make it like a fun thing like go with some of your friends your roommate somebody in the same major as you some of your dorm mates anything like that definitely just go with somebody and y'all can just map out y'all's classes together y'all can kiki key key and laugh and all that kind of stuff try to get to know the campus before like classes start um because it'll just make your life so much easier you can make it a little fun thing out of it so yeah and expectation number eight, the final one. You'll probably expect that everything you have planned to do, everything you have expectations for, everything you have set goals for, you'll, you know, it'll work out perfectly. But in reality, it probably won't. But that's okay. You're not perfect. Everything isn't gonna work out perfect. That's just life. Everything may not go as planned. You may not meet your ride or die group of friends on the first day, and that's fine. Just keep an open mind. Like I said, keep an open mind throughout this whole process. Try to put a positive outlook on everything you do. Try to just attend everything, go to everything. Be friendly, you know, try to step out of your comfort zone. That's what NSO is all about, just making connections stepping out of your comfort zone, getting to know about your school, your campus, school pride, all of that. And when you genuinely make the most out of your orientation, you'll have an amazing time. I know y'all have so much fun. Y'all be lit. Don't turn up too much, but you know, you know, get lit. <laughs> and everything will work out how it's supposed to and everything will just fall into place how it's supposed to. So definitely if it's already passed or it's coming up, definitely make sure you come back on my channel and on this video or under my recent video after your orientation has passed and comment down below how it's been or how it went definitely comment down below how your college is going i love talking with y'all y'all know i always respond to every single comment under my videos i want to know because it seems like i've been y'all like big sister y'all's little you know tour guide for college um throughout like all of these college advice videos i know a lot of people have been binge watching them like i said i will link my college advice and my college blog playlist in the icards and down in the description box so definitely check that out after you finish this video but yeah i want to know how everything is going some updates we're family here ken's crew if you subscribe we here with it okay we here with it and if you haven't go ahead click that subscribe button and the little bell so you know when i upload a video but yeah that is pretty much all i have to say and i will see you guys in my next one passion purpose prosper bye Kennedy, some more.